Now in these days when the disciples were increasing in number, so we see here the church, it's growing in number. We know that in Acts chapter 4, it had grown to at least 5,000 people. But since then, we're not sure exactly how long it has been. But the Bible says that God was adding to their number daily those who are being saved. So we know that this was a very large church and it was a growing church. And that is a great thing. It's good for churches to grow. There's some schools of thought that says, no, we must limit the church and keep it small. Otherwise, it'll lose its family feel and culture and, you know, people will get neglected. But that is actually not a biblical thought. God has ordained growth and anything that is healthy will grow. And a church having a family feel actually has got nothing to do with the size of it. It's got to do with the culture. I've been to small churches that don't have a family feel and people get neglected and there's only a few people that are running the show. I've been to large churches, mega churches that have an amazing family culture. They have thriving small groups as well. And so many people are serving and giving and doing amazing things. And so this thing of losing family feel as things grow it really is a myth. And it's a non-biblical idea, certainly not New Testament idea. And we see in previous chapters, in Acts chapter 2, that the church was very large and it says there was not a needy among them. And that is because they had a culture of caring. They didn't see themselves as individual, but they had everything in common. So it had a family feel, it had a caring feel, and everyone was doing something. Everyone was ministering to the needs of others. And so that just shows you can have a large church and it can still maintain a family feel and a caring feel. And so don't buy into this myth that you have to limit the church. I think trying to limit the church and keep it small goes against nature. And it's actually contrary to what God has ordained in nature. It's like a bonsai tree. You know, people, they cut the taproot and they cause this tree, this huge big oak tree that's supposed to be huge. They limit it to keep it small. And that is actually a perversion of nature. Now, yes, it looks cute and amazing and all of that. But that tree actually was created to grow and it's in its growth that actually it's fruitful. A bonsai tree, you know, it's not very fruitful. And that's not to say that small churches are not valid and important or fruitful. They can be. But ultimately, God has called them to grow. But we also see that with growth comes extra problems. And that doesn't mean growth is a bad thing. It just means you've got to adjust to the growth in order to keep the growth being effective. 